So what is growth in digital marketing? Guys, you just gotta understand that um, nobody can be a millionaire in just one day. It is not practically possible at all. It takes time, effort, and a lot of smart tactics to get you to the actual goal or target that you're looking at. In fact, many people, many of my clients have, you know, who have trusted me and who wanted me to grow their, you know, website traffic or mobile app download traffic or, you know, say um, their YouTube channel to skyrocket to the fullest potential. Most of them, 90% of them have been saying that we want growth to be skyrocketed, you know, this instant. In fact, this week, these three days and all this stuff, I've told them. And you got to tell your clients too as I'm doing it. So growth has to be in an organic manner. It takes a lot of great and smart tactics, strategies, tips and the smart tools that we got to utilize to bring the growth we desire to bring. It can be for anything. It can be for a landing page. It can be for a website. It can be for a mobile app. It can be for an e-commerce store. It can also be for an e-book that a person has actually written. Many authors had contacted me. In fact, top authors across the globe have been talking to me regarding promoting their books to the next level on Google Play, Amazon and all. I've told them, even though you're getting about, say, some particular author gets about, say, 252, you know, 300 sales a day, they want to increase the sales, right? So in Amazon, we got to do the KSO kind of thing, right? Kindle store optimization. And in Google Play, we got to change a particular keyword or a description or something like that under the Google Play you know say publisher control we call it right so where you actually go ahead and put your ebooks there or mobile files or it can be an EPUB file or it can be a PDF that you're selling now I've told a lot of authors and I've been strictly telling them that Immediately as soon as you change your keyword As soon as you change your description, it'll take time for The actual Google Play Store or Amazon to crawl and Once you change the keywords, it would also take Time for that to become discoverable. You're getting my point guys. You I hope you're understanding what we're talking about here So it takes time for everything. Okay, so growth in digital marketing is not something you're looking at rapid growth or something like that it is a slow organic growth but through the growth hacking process this organic growth can be speeded up to a max potential level now how this can be speeded up I give you the example of the Google Play tactic when you have to change the keywords or the Amazon KSO Kindle tactic, right? Figure out the trending keywords from Google Trends. Figure out the trending keywords using Amazon KSO tools. You can Google for Amazon KSO tools, okay? Kindle store optimization tools, and you'll be able to find out a lot of keyword research capabilities. Uh, can be, you know, those kind of skills you'll, you'll be getting. Okay, so once you figure out what kind of keywords are the most popular ones, which are relevant at the same time searchable by many people, that has less competition, but more people are searching for that. Get my point. It can also be a medium competition, and more people are searching for that. But you have to prefer low competition, and more people are actually searching for that in the past. 28 days or to three months not more than that understand 
if you're able to filter out the stuff in the past 28 days if you have a you have if you have figured out a keyboard which a certain set of keyboards which are ranking really good you you think that it'll rank take a list of those keyboards you can also use google keyboard planner google for that google keyboard planner now once you use these particular keywords what you gotta do is you gotta see which one of them are relevant to your niche figure them out keep them separate okay and then you'll be able to add these particular keywords in the particular KSO style that you're looking at KSO style meaning Kindle store optimization style where you put the keywords in for the products or the ebooks you're selling or maybe you have an e-commerce product to actually look at in the seller center or whatever it is so understand what I'm talking about this is a strategy you can use it for whatever you want so once the keywords are confirmedly I mean confirmed it's actually put it's not a word called confirmedly no no problem so once it's put and you're confirming that you actually trust those keywords in now what you gotta do is use tools like shortly s h o r t l y just google for a shortly ai tool ai writing tool i repeat again s h o r t l y shortly tool and what you gotta do is create just one sentence with a particular keyword in a logical fashion okay it should flow the sentences create one sentence and then you have a button in shortly that says write for me okay so write for me or continue writing so you want to click on that button what's going to happen is automatically autonomously without human intervention the tool is going to write the entire paragraph okay understand so once it writes uh say two three lines again you write one line so work with the robot work with the robot this is robot and human powered writing work with the robot write one line and again hit the write for me or complete uh, this paragraph button or whatever or continue writing button and then you write another paragraph like that you thrust the keywords in every paragraph first figure out what are the trending keywords get those lists separate them then put it in shortly like in a logical flow sentence then it will continue the sentences and easily you will be able to finish a product description or an ebook description that you can you can also do one thing you can also click continue writing and make shortly write an entire uh, blog post based on your ebook right once that blog post is written or maybe the product description is written all you gotta do is command a or control a control c copy head over to quill bot Q U I L L B O T Cool Bot. You gotta paste that there. And then cool it or paraphrase it. The entire content, whatever you would have written, right? It'll become completely a new a version you'll get from Quill Bot. Okay? Understand? You'll get a new version. So again you click paraphrase button, again you'll get a new version. Okay? So again you click paraphrase button, again you will get one more new version. Okay? So you keep on getting the new versions out there. And then you can use these particular versions. Maybe for a blog. Maybe for a landing page. Maybe for a LinkedIn article. Maybe for your Medium article. Or maybe for your Reddit post, your Quora answers. Or maybe for your Twitter tweets, you can pick a sentence and make it the tweet of the decade, right? <laughs> and then you'll be able to use it also on your Facebook social media pages. Maybe you take one for, from that, one sentence from that, two sentences from that, use it with a link, call to action, your particular, what you call as ebook link. And sometimes this amazing strategy has worked out. What you can do is, just put a paragraph out there that says i have a link to an amazing book just describe your book okay and then say comment below if interested so people will start commenting automatic the reach also will be higher if you don't actually put the actual url the reach is going to be actually higher right understand so 
when they comment what you got to do is you got to reply to them on the linkedin or a facebook post reply to them saying i will inbox you i mean i will message you the actual link to the ebook understand this is how it works and people start starts to comment 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 coming in then you go and message 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 them in their inbox simple as that you keep on messaging now you got to look at how many messages you can send because there's a limit to everything right so maybe you can send about 15 to 20 messages correct and reply to them in the comment saying that I will send you tomorrow for the rest of the people who haven't got your particular ebook message to the link to your ebook right this tactic will actually work out wonders this is a tactic this is a growth hacking tactic that you gotta use to bring forth a growth a complete growth style approach for anything it can be for anything it, you can, even for a YouTube video you can do that I've created a new video that talks about SEO tactics you can put it in the uh, you know what you call as um, LinkedIn post and then you can say want the link to the video comment below if you have a new product that says I've created a new product I mean like I have a new tool that I'm launching and um, I thought I would give early access to this particular tool completely free for you. Comment below with the, uh, if interested. This tool will be able to write articles and ebooks in minutes. And this tool is called as Era Robot 2.0. So, just an idea, guys. You understand what I'm talking about. So, people will start commenting I want Era, I want Era, I want Era, I want Era Robot understand so then you reach out to them inbox me you put one more comment then that post is going viral dude understand this tactic then once it goes viral you gotta direct message them saying here is a link here is a beta version link here is an alpha version link or here is actual link here is your reward link understand so this is this is what is going to actually trend not just in the present but also in the future this is going to set a revolution in terms of viral marketing is concerned these kind of you know say tricks will definitely work out on social media i'm not saying that it's going to speed up growth up to a level of 90x 100x but in fact, whatever growth you're getting, every three or four times estimated growth I'm talking about, 3x, 4x growth, you can get, you can expect also, right? It's going to really boom the show for you. And so typically, digital marketing is a trending concept. Digital marketing is a trending, what do you call as field. But the use of artificial intelligence and automation is going to set to rule the world of digital marketing. It's going to completely take over digital marketing by storm, and you know that. And in fact, when there will be a time that'll come back, that'll, that'll, that'll come in, not come back, in fact, come in, where robots, virtual humans will be carrying out all the activities in digital marketing at that point of time don't think that you'll lose your job you'll definitely not lose your job but work with the robots to create something new so if there are lots of tools that are launching there are lots of software that are launching it's obviously good for you dude because you'll be able to automate each and every aspect in digital marketing say video creation okay just take an example a video creation now typically how long it would take you to create a video using a webcam and a mic and you got to create the video you got to edit that video you got to render that video you got to publish the video these are different steps 
editing process itself is a headache, right? But see, some technologies have come in where virtual humans can come in, like it'll be a 3D virtual human, in fact, can come in. And then whatever content you give, so maybe the text form approach of content I'm talking about. So whatever content you're giving, maybe you give a blog post, maybe you give a script, maybe you give a promotional script, or maybe you're giving something like a social media post. This robot, this virtual human is going to speak the particular content article or whatever it is. So he or she is going to speak. And it looks so real. And then you can export the video in minutes. It'll be all cloud rendering, right? Cloud rendering, we are moving on towards the cloud rendering format. No longer hardware rendering. Everything is going to be in the cloud and everything will be in the cloud. Understand? <laughs> so in fact, even After Effects or you, you know, even a lot of tools, uh, you know, say like example I can give you. There's a tool called as Render Forest, Video Bolt is one more tool, Render Forest is one more tool. All these tools will help you to create a lot of graphics in minutes. Just Google for Video Bolt, V-I-D-E-O-B-O-L-T. -E so it will help you to create a lot, a lot of videos in minutes, right? So why I'm saying all, all this is going to be in the cloud, on the cloud, in the cloud. Whatever grammar corrections you do, it's going to be on the cloud. So in fact, once it's on the cloud, it doesn't require any kind of hardware, your internal GPU or whatever it is, it doesn't require. Your graphic card, it doesn't require. Cloud gaming also is going to take over, right, by storm. Now there are a lot of cloud games. I mean, in fact, you can play any kind of games. The high-end games also on the, uh, you know, by going to a particular website. Parsec, P A R S E C. So there are lots of other, other what do you call as um, websites uh, for cloud gaming. Vortex.gg is also Vortex.gg. So these kind of um, remote desktops, high high end uh, cloud, uh, you know, say. What do you call us? Very high-end computers that have a lot of RAM capacity for you to play, play games and connect to your Steam account. All this stuff happens, right? It's really good for gamers out there. This is a good thing. But anyways, the concept of the topic is not gaming here. But this may help you guys because in the future, even educational games or business-oriented games can come up and. Um, You'll be playing it on just like you you play on your gaming computer. You can play these kind of games, strategy-based games, on your particular browser, like say Google Chrome or Safari or whatever it is. Because that may be that cloud game may be actually linked to NFT or blockchain technology or something like that. So that might work out really good too. When when typically when you're actually you know buying say a virtual land example i just give an example because the metaverse concept is trending nowadays suppose anybody wants to buy a virtual land they can head over to the metaverse um website or platforms and buy virtual land okay i've also bought a virtual land in a particular metaverse city don't worry okay so i don't know whether you have heard about uh, amazing technologies like suntar sa and sar just Google for Sansar. S A N S A R. You will understand. Second Life. S C C O N D L I F U. Second Life. You will have a second life. Don't worry. Let's have a virtual cafe. Let's actually go to a virtual college. Let's actually attend a virtual office session. Let's actually look at a virtual university. So. These kind of amazing, mind-blowing, incredible concepts are trending nowadays. Trending, really trending. And the future, I don't know, because you will be a virtual character. You'll be entering a virtual mall. And you can buy products from a virtual 3D store. You can rotate the products. You can buy from a virtual store. And you can actually cash out. You can, you can 
earn points everything in a virtual world understand so for example Srinidhi Ranganathan is in the physical world right now a Srinidhi Ranganathan can actually travel to the metaverse and enter a digital world I don't know whether you have seen the movie called as Ready Player One similar to that if you haven't watched it watch it Ready Player One so that's how it is so the concepts are very very interesting in fact what are I'm talking about right so sometimes some people find it really intriguing anyways so whenever a client comes to you and asks for how much of growth how much of views how much of visits how much of downloads can you bring what are you going to tell them just tell them that digital marketing execution is kind of an organic process the reports will be shared you tell them obviously you'll be sharing the report at the end of every week or month just tell them that digital marketing is a slow organic process which takes time for you to grow and it depends on the requirement it depends on the products what you're selling it depends on the audience wants or needs note it down wants or needs it also depends on what price you are actually pricing and whether that product is valued in the market it also depends on what website or what platform you're selling it and how much pla uh, platform how much traffic that platform has and what kind of social media networks and what kind of influencers are promoting that product it also depends on various factors like existing audience and how many audiences they, they can refer, how many friends they can refer, how many colleagues they can refer. It also depends on what kind of commission you are pay, paying the affiliate marketers and whether they are interested in the particular commission and how it is, it, it's, it's kind of an MLM model or not, something like that. It, finally, it also depends on the budget. The company has to market and advertise the product on Google Ads or Facebook Ads or Twitter Ads or LinkedIn Ads or Core Ads or Pinterest Ads or WordPress. If they're using a lot of technologies, plugins, premium plugins, even Monster Insights is a great one, right? For analytics, okay, We're using different kinds of plugins to track how the traffic is coming in how the traffic is actually going into a kind of a funnel or what kind of funnel what kind of existing funnel is actually there how it is getting converted and all this for example a person coming to your website right for whatever product you're selling what is a funnel maybe they they come, they, they subscribe to a newsletter or is a content logged. If you have a blog, if you have a magazine that you want to promote, I'm talking about something like that. Yeah. Or if they just come to read a blog and go off. Or maybe you have a pop-up to convert them. Uh, they call it an exit intent pop-up. Exit intent. So whoever is exi exiting the page, right? A pop-up will load. A pop-up is going to load. And it can be a full page pop-up or maybe it's a it's a windowed pop-up or maybe you have a header bar that talks about the, the scrolling bar kind of thing that the text will scroll like like a news channel right something like that so all these factors all of these factors and what kind of creatives one more thing I forgot what kind of creatives that you're using to promote your business and whether the product is fully ready suppose you're promoting a SaaS software what kind of conversion are you doing? So typically if you're selling that software for free and then you have an in-app purchase later on, is that the model? Or maybe you're selling the software beforehand paid. We don't know that, right? So what is a business model? What is the selling model? That is something which you got to think about. So these factors, all of these factors contribute towards growth in digital marketing it's not just you uh, a person approaching you and telling market my products and make it 
a bestseller. It's not like that. That's not how digital marketing would work. So I hope you got a fair idea about how to market a product and how to convince your client related to growth and digital marketing. So always remember this. Growth, the word, the term growth can refer to a lot of things. It can be number of sales, up the sales, it can be number of customers, it can be number of downloads, it can be number of views. It can be something related to number of add-ons, like if you're, if you're actually buying a pizza, maybe the extra cheese would be an add-on. It can also be how many add-ons you're selling, right? So understand, growth can be anything. If you're selling a live class, so what are the kind of add-ons you're selling? Maybe you're selling an ebook along with a live class, or maybe you're selling an Excel sheet that has a list of tools. It can be anything, guys. Growth is just a term and it can refer to any kind of growth and it also is directly related to the target. So whatever targets your client is setting or you are setting yourself, make it kind of a smart target which you can achieve, which is achievable at the end of the day. So a target or a goal, whatever you are creating for yourself, or which you're aiming at should be an achievable one and once it's achieved you can always you know go 2x or 5x or 7x in the coming months for example if the client tells you we need this kind of growth in two months set a target tell them convince them after you know two months we can achieve this after four months we can achieve this target after six months, we can achieve this. So go stepwise, but you can also increase because it's gonna double. So if you get say thousand views in three months, example, I'll just give an example, it will increase to two thousand. So organic traffic is always going to grow, right? Understand? Even if paid traffic comes in, organic traffic is going to grow. It also depends on a lot of factors, but still, what I'm talking about, just estimating that it's going to grow. So that those factors you got to definitely keep in mind guys something that you got to actually think about before you actually send a proposal to a client and in the proposal you got to mention all these you know slide wise you can mention all these stuff and how you can organically help I mean, how we can help to grow the company, it's marketing, organic growth completely, right? <laughs> Tongue twister on there, yeah. And also you have a kind of something called as the social media signals. See, after two months, if you are not there, what would have been the growth? And if you are, because you are there, here is the growth. That kind of two comparisons also you need to set or create a report on so for example if suppose you have not done the campaigns marketing campaigns this is a chart this is the views you're getting this is the website visits you're getting these are the social media likes or engagement you're getting i have done the campaign just think i'm speaking your voice <laughs> i've done the campaign so here is the difference i got this much engage engagement I got this many views, I got this many visits, I'm able to bring you this much of growth through paid ads, this, these many customers, this kind of revenue, this kind of sales, right? Understand, so you, that comparison is gonna help a lot when it comes to estimating your true value potential of what you can achieve, simple as that. I don't know whether this is taught in an MBA class, but definitely this is going to work real wonders. So you got to learn this particular tactic. Okay, so uh, let's move on now and um, let's again think about this. 
when you're free just brood over this think about what all other ideas you would have when it comes to growth in digital marketing what all other you know insights that you may gain by reading books or maybe by just searching on Google or maybe you want to read some some articles on medium to figure out other people's viewpoints on growth and digital marketing jot them down and uh, see you also have to you know go ahead and listen to other people's ideas also right so you'll get a clear insight on what is happening and then you can also compare once each one's viewpoints that might help yes